Welcome to the Air Gun Show. Now, pretty soon the evenings are going to start drawing in, and for many of us, that means our thoughts will be turning to after dark pest control. So, this week, I'm going to take a look at one of the more affordable solutions for nighttime hunting in the shape of a scope mounted gun lamp. But first up, we're joining Andy Watkins for what turns out to be a brilliant session targeting rabbits and corvids. Well, it's not often that I really get the opportunity to shoot many rabbits, just for the permissions that I have and the fact that there's not all that many rabbits around like there once was. But on this field in particular, there's loads of them. The landowner's given me a call and they're digging holes in the paddocks and making it quite dangerous for the horses. Um, so if the horse puts their foot down one of the holes, it can break a leg and subsequently have to be put down. So the plan for today is pretty simple. I'm just going to get a shooting mat out Put it along the hedge and use the wolf of rain just in a prone position probably all evening and just wait for the rabbits to come out of their warrens um, and just pick them off one by one is the plan whether it goes that way who knows um, but i'm going to do my best now get the stuff out of the car and crack on There's the opportunity for a jackdaw here already. It's right on the floor in front of me. There's just a white gate that I've just got to watch the front of the barrel doesn't clip. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Take it from the kneeling position, I think. That was a pretty tidy shot, rolled him over. You can see I'm not even 10 yards from the car and I've already got one in the bag. Could be quite a productive day. Jackdaws all down here as well. Well, I've literally just shot that jackdaw and the rabbit's just hopped out when he's sat in the field. That's the first one of the night. Looked like quite a good sized rabbit, so uh, good one to start on. Okay, this seems like a good a spot as any. Those might have noticed, I've got a little uh, range card here in my shooting mat and that just helps me quickly pick my aim point after I've lased a rabbit because they could come out anywhere between 10 and probably 45 yards here so yeah it looks like there's one out just behind the little patch of nettles I might have to move to the left a little bit
Well I've got two rabbits on the ground now so what I might do is just go and set up that jackdaw that I shot at first um, and set it up over a dead rabbit as a decoy this way it'll sort of double my chances as well because I'll be focusing on rabbits on the hedge line and then further out in the field the corvids and they shouldn't really disrupt each other I might just get an extra couple of shots off Well that rabbit just came straight out of the hedge, sat there directly in front of me, about 30 yards, and uh, rolled him over with a headshot. There was a little bit of kick in, but uh, it was definitely dead, just the nerves. Okay, magpies just landed over the decoys. It's coming in closer when you get ready. And he just needs the magpie to settle where it offers a safe shot without the horses behind it. <sighs> oh, cracking. That's another Corvid down. It's just been non stop since I've got here. That one, um, I went for a heart and lung shot. Pretty sure, well, I know I connected with the lungs. Okay, we've got another one here. Number three now, I think. It's turning into a good night. Well, I've just had a peep over this field on the left hand side, and there's a few rabbits in there, so I think it would definitely be worth a little walk over there. They seem pretty chilled out, so um, I might just use this hedge as a bit of cover just to help break me up a little bit and see how close I can get for a shot. Take the range for it. You can see that these paddocks are quite close to houses. The quiet, discreet operation of an air rifle is great in this sort of situation. Well that was a bit action packed, I had loads then, four all in all, um, I think, well I've lost count to be honest what the, what the total is up to now, but it's uh, a good night, this is probably one of the best nights of rabbit shooting I've ever had. Another one shot perfectly, two.
Found a full grown female. So hopefully you can see this now, we've got 10 rabbits here and um, we've got, let me see, one, two, three, about five full grown and um, and five, five of this year's young, so a nice mix. Um, hopefully the horses will be a little bit safer now and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, the rain's performed really well, paired with the sports match mounts, done a great job. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Andy Watkins bagging bunnies there with the Walther rain. Next up, I'm taking a look at the new PAO Lumen Max 900 IR nighttime hunting system from the shooting party. Check out the great subscription deals for print and digital versions of Airgun Shooter magazine. You won't miss a single issue, even if you can't get to the shops. Night shooting gear has become dominated by night vision and thermal kit over recent years. I use this tech myself, but it can be prohibitively expensive. The affordable alternative is lamping. It's what we always used to do and it still works just as well as it ever did for targeting nocturnal pests such as rabbits and rats. This is the PAO LumenMax 900 IR hunting lamp system from the shooting party. It is very competitively priced with a recommended retail price of £119.99. Apart from having a powerful Cree LED light module, it also has an interchangeable head, which means you can switch that module for an 850 NM infrared module, which also comes supplied with the kit. That means that you can also use this lamp as an illuminator with night vision optics. The torch itself is fairly compact. It's less than 18 centimetres long and weighs about 230 grams, which means it shouldn't make your combo feel too top heavy when it's mounted. Now attachment is by means of the supplied clamp, which can fit both 25 millimetre and 30 millimetre scope tubes. And it's also suitably high to keep the lamp well clear of the turrets. Although pretty compact, the lamp unit feels to be very solidly made. It's impact resistant and waterproof, and it's even covered by a 12 month warranty. The kit comes supplied with easy to follow instructions, and it also comes with a foam lined hard plastic case so you can keep everything safe and tidy. As far as illumination goes, there are various power levels, and the beam has an effective range of up to 500 meters. Now, one full press of the tail switch turns the light on, and if you give it another full press, that switches it off. You scroll through the various power modes and the strobe setting by just giving it a gentle press. Now, you can swap that tail switch for a stock-mounted remote pressure switch, which also comes supplied with the kit. Now, that enables you to use the lamp without taking your hands off the gun and still allows you to shift through the various power modes. Runtime is around 80 minutes at the full 900 lumens, about 3 hours at 250 lumens, and around 30 hours at 40 lumens. Now of course, you could hunt for longer than 80 minutes at full power because you wouldn't be leaving the lamp on. 
Now it's powered by a supplied high capacity rechargeable battery which comes with a USB charging lead and features a really neat integral charging port. Anyone who has done any amount of lamping will know that quarry can become lamp shy after sustained shooting pressure. A great way around the problem is to use coloured filters. They enable you to soften the beam but also allow you to change the colour of the light to a colour that your quarry has not yet learned to associate with danger. Now this kit comes supplied with red and green push on filters. They're very effective and extremely easy to use. With or without a filter fitted and on all power levels, the beam features an intense central spot with a wider halo of light around it. Now there is some light spillage, but I didn't find that to be a problem when using the lamp to target rats. Of course, you can also take the lamp off of your scope and use it as a handheld torch. It's certainly small enough to fit in the pocket of a hunting jacket and it comes supplied with a wrist lanyard. I really like the accessories that come with this kit, especially the neat little charging point on that supplied lithium ion battery, which does away with the need to have a separate charger. I also really like the fact that the removable head enables you to change from a conventional lamp to an infrared illuminator. That's going to make this extremely handy if you decide to switch to a night vision optic in the future. So that's the PAO Lumen Max 900 IR hunting lamp system from the shooting party. When it comes to affordability and versatility, it is an extremely impressive package, especially when you consider that it's still going to be useful if you decide to switch over to night vision further down the line. Not that lamping should ever be regarded as an inferior option. In fact, I think I'm going to set up with this lamp and show you some of my lamping tactics and how this kit fares in the field in one of our future hunting packages. Look out for the new and improved Airgun Shooter magazine, packed full of technique, gear and insight from some of the best shooters in the industry. Brand new look and free video content. Pick up your copy today in stores or online. That's all for this week, but as ever, we'll be back in a fortnight. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you aren't already a member of the BASC, it's time that you join the organisation that works to promote and protect your sport.